And my last question is, uh, you had a teacher at Gotham Tech High School in Queens, and you've spoken out publicly against this. He posted images of a Hamas paraglider to his social media, repeatedly refers to so-called Israel. Uh, again, this is highlighting a Hamas paraglider who slaughtered Jews. We all have seen That's the horrific right. footage, who cooked babies. These are terrorists. Horrible. What disciplinary action has taken against this teacher? Again, action was taken. When we, first of all, I want to just say, I think what, what, what that employee did, absolutely disgusting. Absolutely but disgusting. What action? And we took action. What was the action? I cannot give you the specifics on the action the, that was yes, taken. Yes, you can. You're in, the in front of Congress. Am I hearing you say today that those policies are in place? Those policies are in place. Here's the challenge. Okay. These, these things don't always come down to so clear yes and no. I'll give you an example. We had a school where a teacher hung up a map of the Middle East that eliminated Israel from the map. So the question is, is that anti-Semitic? To me, that's anti-Semitic. And we had it removed. But others have said, did you fire her? She said, essentially, I made a mistake. I didn't intend it to be anti-Semitic. And she had a reason for it. Thank you, Thank you very much, Mr. Chair. Um, Mr. Banks, there's been many questions on Hillcrest, and I just want to make sure it's very clear for the record. The principal of Hillcrest High School is still employed by the Department of Education, correct? Correct. And what is his role? Uh, he's serving in a uh, role working on one of the teams, uh, on the one of our deputy chancellors. I am told that he's director of teacher development and evaluation. Is that accurate? Uh, that. I don't know his official title right now. I'd have to double check that. That's concerning to me that you have him in a senior position. And what's very concerning about these hearings is that we're getting lip service, but a lack of enforcement, a lack of accountability. And these rules and policies matter, whether it's teachers, administrators, or students violating the rules. I want to switch to Origins High School. In October, 40 to 50 students marched through Origins High School chanting death to Israel and kill the Jews. In addition, an independent investigation found that uh, a teacher who teaches global history was told by a student, quote, I wish you were killed. Another student called her, quote, a dirty Jew, and the student said he wished Hitler could have hit more Jews, including her. What disciplinary actions have been taken against those students who chanted death to Israel at Origins High School and against the student who harassed with anti-Semitic slurs that teacher? Two things. First of all, when we've done our investigation, we have found no evidence evidence that there was any movement through the hall saying death to the Jews. We looked at, and I treat that very, very seriously. We, that was reported in the papers. We have found no evidence that that actually happened. What we have found are wide range, deeply troubling anti-Semitic things that have happened at Origins High School. This, this is the one case that has troubled me the most, Congresswoman, I will tell you that. So what are the and enforcement we have, actions? I'm, I'm trying to tell you. We have, we have in fact suspended a number of students at that school. But currently, this case now is under litigation, and I'm being advised not to speak to the specific things that have happened there. But just know that what ha I have visited that school after these allegations have come up. I've met with parents, family, staff, students. I'm deeply troubled by what has happened there, and we're going to get to the bottom of it. I can't say more because it is now under litigation. You understand our concern, though, as policymakers, when we have witnesses testify, whether it's Columbia University, Penn, Harvard, or New York City Chancellor, when there is a lack of enforcement and accountability, that there is a set of rules, but that individuals who violate those rules are not held accountable. We've tr we've he held a lot of people accountable. That was part, you weren't here when I gave my opening statement. But you didn't, you said you fired the principal, and it turns out the former principal I never of, said I fired the Hillcrest, principal. You did. A member, you can check the testimony, Ms. I McLean asked you fired her you said yes fired the principal of who Hillcrest I never said I fired the principal Phil you check the record I never said I that. will check the record I said I that will we check removed the record. The Mr. Principal. Banks Mr. Banks never I was said I fired the principal she said has he been fired you said yes and then I we did moved not on say that I you did well, you said I would, he was I would beg to differ on we that. now know though that he is still employed by the Department He's of Education no longer at the school he has been but removed he is employed from his by the position of education. as the principal of the school. And now he That's is not the same employed thing as terminated. at the Department of Education. You testified to that. Yes. And you also said, I believe, you know, we've been told he's director of teacher development and evaluation. And you're not sure if that's the case. Our expectation is we'll get an answer by the end of today, whether that's the case or not. Absolutely. My next question is, there have been multiple teacher-led anti-Israel walkouts during school time. 
what are the consequences for those teacher walkouts? And do those violate policy of DOE? What I'm not sure what teacher walkouts. We've had a number of walkouts of students out of school, including several of our high schools, which are also very troubling for me. The, so the, what we, disciplinary action is taken in that case? Right. The, the challenge that we have in that case is we do not have any rules within our code of conduct that would prevent a child from actually walking out of the school. When they walk out of the school, they are marked absent. They're essentially cutting from school. There are consequences for cutting school. And we it's your testimony parents, today that there's but, no teacher involvement in those walkouts? Because independent media reports say that there is teacher involvement in those walkouts. I don't have any evidence of that. We have evidence of one where the principal assigned a teacher to go with a student to a protest, completely inappropriate. That principal was disciplined, the teacher was disciplined in that particular case. What was the form of the discipline? Uh, I'm not at liberty to tell you this very specific. They were not fired, but we have a wide range of discipline that takes place in those cases, and we did take action. And my last question is, uh, you had a teacher at Gotham Tech High School in Queens, and you've spoken out publicly against this. He posted images of a Hamas paraglider to his social media, repeatedly refers to so-called Israel. Uh, again, this is highlighting a Hamas paraglider who slaughtered Jews. We all have seen That's the right. horrific Horrible. footage, who cooked babies. These are terrorists. Horrible. What disciplinary action has taken against this teacher? Again, action was taken. When we, first of all, I want to just say, I think what, what, what that employee did, absolutely disgusting. Absolutely but disgusting. What action? And we took action. What was the action? I cannot give you the specifics on the action the, that was yes, taken. Yes, you can. You're in, the in front of Congress. Tom what is the action? I cannot give you this on the specific employee, on this specific employee. You we can did. give the us an answer. You're choosing expired, not to. That's not. unacceptable. Tom has expired. Let's go to the... Um, I'm going to ask a couple questions. I think they're really simple. But then I want to move to outcomes and um, what we can do to actually make change. Because I, th I think you said something very um, insightful. We need to get to the root of the problem and change the curriculum and change how we teach, right? So I I'm assuming you're going to agree with me. But let me just, death to Israel, is that anti-Semitic? Of course it is. Of course. Kill the Jews, anti-Semitic? Absolutely. Absolutely. Drawing swastikas. Um, or mimicking, is that anti-Semitic? Absolutely, I, I mean, hate crime in New York, yes. Of course. Um, all of these act activities are anti-Semitic. Vandalism of school property, right, rioting, we, we agree on that, right? And we talk about taking action, right? And action is a vague term. So let's move from actions to outcomes, because sometimes when we take action, we don't get the desired outcome we appreciate or we, or we want, sure. right? So let's take a look at what actions you have taken and what has been the result of reducing the anti-Semitism in your schools. Let me give you an example. What, an example of what was raised was Hillcrest High School, very passionately brought up. My alma mater that I went to, where a Jewish teacher was targeted in a frightening episode Mm -hmm. We didn't accept that. We pushed back on that tremendously. So can you give me an example of pushback? Because to me, pushback is that uh, those people are dealt with swiftly. But what's your definition of pushback? But, but, but in terms of outcomes, what I meant was we suspended students. We removed the principal of the school. We engaged the Simon Wiesenthal Center for a deeper dive in education of those kids. The teacher who was targeted made a decision I think one of the most heroic things I've ever heard, to actually come back. She could have gone to another school. She made a decision to say, if I'm so going to change this. you fired the people. You fired yes, the, the, I, the. Yes, the, we, the, move, we move people, absolutely. And, and the outcome is that what's happening at that school now has transformed in okay. significant ways. We've not fully arrived. This is a work in it. progress. I get it. What have you done to change your curriculum? Yeah, so we have engaged in a wide range of new uh, 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 resource guides, teaching about anti-Semitism, teaching about the And what the are those resource guides? Excuse me? What are those resource guides? Uh, they resource, we're working together with the Museum of Jewish History okay. um, in New York City, who's helping us to create an I, educated I would guide offer for one, teachers. I would offer one solution as well, because a lot of times we come up here and we just talk about problems. Mm -hmm. One solution is Morris Life does a really good job of teaching anti-Semitism. Anti 
and, and really ruling out hate around the Holocaust and whatnot. I think where everyone gets frustrated is we use these words like pushback, and I think we have to have a real clear definition of if X happens, if you vandalize school property, if you um, perform anti-Semitic acts, that here is a clear policy that will be dealt with swiftly and justly. Am I hearing you say today that those policies are in place? Those policies are in place. Here's the challenge. Okay. Th these things don't always come down to so clear yes and no. I'll give you an example. We had a school where a teacher hung up a map of the Middle East that eliminated Israel from the map. So the question is, is that anti-Semitic? To me, that's anti-Semitic. And we had it removed. But others have said, did you fire her? She said, Essentially, I made a mistake. I didn't intend it to be anti-Semitic, and okay. she had a reason for How it. Do your, I have one, I have just a moment. How do your administrators respond to students that um, ignore authority, right? I think we have three perpetrators here. We have the students, we have the teachers, and sure. we have the administrators, right? Right. And I think all three of those people need to be dealt with and need to be dealt with swiftly and justly. So with that, I apologize, I'm out of time, but I would like to see your written response to how you deal with anti-Semitism as it pertains to those three entities, students, administrators, and teachers. And sure. with that, thank you, thank Mr. You. Chairman, I yield back. Thank you very much. Uh, from the great